Universal Studios Hollywood. The Samuel Goldwyn Company presents American Gladiators. Selected from a nationwide search, 20 men and women have come to Hollywood to challenge our force of American Gladiators for a single honor to become American Gladiators Champions. Now, here are your American Gladiators, Gemini, Lake, Nitro, Gold, Laser, Blaze, Thunder, Ice, Turbo, and Diamond. The host for American Gladiators, Mike Adamley and his co-host, Larry Zonka. Welcome to this edition of the American Gladiators, where our quarterfinals are underway. Hi again, everyone. I'm Mike Adamley, along with one of the greatest names in pro football history, Mr. Larry Zonka. Good to have you here. Good to here, Mike. Thank you. All right. Larry, there's something about intense athletic competition that seems to bring the best out in everyone, and I think that certainly holds true for our contenders here on this show. Well, Mike, they're in the quarterfinals. You expect to see the contestants having more athletic ability, and I think the fact that the heat of the competition is so great, it brings out even more. Well, this week's group's a good one. Let's meet the contenders for this quarterfinal round. In our women's quarterfinals, please welcome back Doran Cumberbatch of New York City, a teacher for the language impaired, and her opponent, Kristen Jarko of Peoria, Arizona, an advertising graphic designer. In the men's competition, here's Philip Nasca of Aia, Hawaii, manager of a townhouse complex. And his opponent, James Kiernan of Phoenix, Arizona, a member of the Phoenix Fire Department. Kristen, your father was a professional football player with the old Baltimore Colts and later the Canadian Football League. Obviously, he left behind a genetic legacy because you've done quite well. You did quite well in the preliminaries. Has that been a factor for you? Oh, you bet. And we've been working on some football moves together, so I hope you all be able to show them what I've learned in the Powerball and the Breakthrough and Conquer. James, uh, you're a firefighter, but I also know that uh, you were a great wrestler at Phoenix College. There's an event that's tailor-made for you in this competition, Breakthrough and Conquer. Mike, it's not exactly tailor-made. I'm used to trying to keep the guy in the circle and on his back, but this time I'll be getting him out of the circle. How about the bumps and bruises you suffered in the uh, preliminary round? Are they all healed? Oh, they're not healed, so I'll be able to pay some of them back there in the circle. Some pretty strong words, gladiators. Larry? Duran, we talked about it in the preliminaries. You had a little bit of an unusual training program back in New York. You were running the stairs of your apartment building. Have you added any other dimensions to your training program? Well, I'm still running the stairs, but I decided to go find myself a lake and do some rowing up and down. Where have you been doing the rowing? In Central Park. Good enough. I hope you're prepared. Philip? I understand that you've done a little painting in order to earn a little extra money and get to get here to American Gladiators. That's right, and I'm just grateful to have another chance to be out here. This is a lot of fun. Well, we're glad to have you. Good luck today, Philip, Duran, Mike. Gladiators, stay hungry. Contenders, stay healthy. Best of luck to everyone. Let's get ready to rock and roll. This is how the competition works on the American Gladiators. Our contenders, two men and two women, will compete in seven very different events against the American Gladiators. Now, the contender who amasses the most points in those seven confrontations automatically advances to the semifinal round and moves one step closer towards our championship final. At stake, over $150,000 in cash and prizes. We're all set to go now with our first event. It's men's Powerball. Here's Larry Zonka with the rundown. And in this quarterfinal matchup, it's going to be Gemini, Laser, and Nitro doing the honors for the Gladiators. Philip Nasca returns from our loser's bracket, and earlier he told us why this competition is special to him. It's always been something to me that I wanted a chance to, like, go against the best. And it's one thing to play, you know, basketball at a playground or a softball league, but, you know, I always felt inside my heart that I could still compete at a really high level, and I never got that chance. And this has given me that chance, and I'm, you know, I'm really looking forward to it. Philip, as a matter of fact, took a second job in order to pay for the airfare that took him to the regional tryout in Los Angeles. His opponent, James Kiernan, he advanced to the quarters 
with a victory over Terrence Johnson in the preliminaries. James Kiernan, the firefighter from Phoenix in the blue, Philip Naska in the red. Kiernan scores and so does Philip. But now the gladiators are getting serious. James has already taken a couple of shots from Nitro. He's a little hesitant to run out there again. Nasca, a former walk-on running back at the University of Hawaii, finding out it's not easy to get by a triple team. <laughs> James finding out it's not easy to get by Nitro either. Winding down, that's it, and this one's going to end up a 2-2 tie between Phil Nasca and James Kiernan. Nitro seems to have a good grip on James here, but James doesn't give up. He pulls away and gets the score. The men get off to a 2-2 start here on American Gladiators. But there's plenty of action ahead on this quarterfinal round, including hang tough. Wall. Up next is Women's Powerball. Welcome back to Universal Studios Hollywood, where the trifecta of diamond, lace, and gold prepare to take on the women in Powerball. It's a rematch from our preliminary round. Our women's top seed, Duran Cumberbatch, a former track standout from York University in Toronto. She'll take on Kristen Jarkow. Duran won that preliminary match 99-42, and they're set to go once again. Duran in the red, Kristen in the blue, and a nice move by Kristen on Diamond to score first. And Kristen suffers at the hands of Diamond. Diamond goes up around her neck, and Duran scores fairly easily, running to the corner. Now she takes advantage of the placement of the gladiators and scores in the center pod for four points. Gold with the clothesline on Kristen. Duran gets by Lace. Things getting a little rough right now. Grant trying a stiff arm tactic on gold, but unsuccessful. Final seconds of Powerball here, and Duran wins it 8-2. to two. Duran giving us a glimpse of that great athletic ability. Kristen, I know one thing for sure. I wouldn't want to mess around with you on a Powerball surface. I think you were victimized a bit by some bad luck. A couple of the balls just rimmed around the scoring pods and bounced out. I really wanted that center one, and I was almost there, so maybe next time. Just how tough are these gladiators? They're tough, I'm telling you. They're all over the place. Duran, you were able to hit that center cylinder, and that resulted in the A2 victory. You smile a lot before the competitions. Is that your way to break the tension? No, it doesn't break the tension. Anything that breaks the tension, getting out there you're supremely confident where does that come from something my daddy always tells me he says if you try you, you have confidence in yourself that you can do anything you want but if you say you can't then you defeat it already sage words from your father congratulations grand the winner 8-2 so our women's top seed jumps out to the early lead after one event while the men are tied at two as they prepare for our next event hang tough And here a contender can earn five points for lasting on the silver rings for 60 seconds. Seven points on the red rings or 10 points for making it to the opposite platform. Larry, Hank Tough is one of the new events on American Gladiators and I'm sure Philip didn't do much in the way of preparing for this event unless he found some old vines to swing from back in his home state of Hawaii. Well, remember in the last competition he was in, Philip lasted only 17 seconds against Gemini. So we're gonna have to see how he fares against Turbo. Ready? Turbo would make a great Tarzan, wouldn't he, in a movie? Look how graceful he is on the ring.
Erdo now has him in the depth grip. All 260 pounds, and there he goes. So just like the preliminary round, Phil Nasker goes down with 17 seconds left. And Turbo telling his young fans, hey, those contenders are no match for me in this event. James Kiernan is up next, and he is definitely not taking this competition lightly. People say at work, I, I compete too hard, you know, and I, everything's a challenge, and, you know, I'm always trying to win, and, and sometimes that bothers people, but that's just my personality. You know, I like to win, and I like the struggle of the challenge, and I, I don't like to win easy. I, I like someone to give me the toughest competition I can, I can get from, and then the win is even sweeter. Well, he's certainly going to get tough competition here. Turbo's ready. James with an opportunity to take the men's lead here in this competition. James can almost match Turbo for upper body strength. He attacks him with his legs, trying to drive Turbo back. Talking about knocking on the door, James just drove right up and said, hey, let me in. Boy, once you lose your momentum, it's hard to get it back again. James trying to figure out a strategy here to get around Turbo, and Turbo says, no way. I'm going to stay right in center court. You're going to have to go through me. And that is it. James Kiernan goes the distance. He makes it to the middle section of rings. And that draw is worth five points. Go with his win and hang tough. James now takes the men's lead. Uh, Duran leads the women's competition as they prepare to swing and hang tough. Duran is also going to step up to the plate first. He's going to be going against Diamond. And Larry, this should be an interesting match because Diamond by far and away is the best flat eater when it comes to swinging on the rings. And Duran, with her outstanding athletic ability, is able to adapt to any situation. I expect her to fare very well in this event. Well, she's demonstrated that she has great hand-eye coordination. She's got all the other athletic abilities, the speed, the moves. Let's see if she can plot a little strategy and get by Diamond. That was a little intimidating there. She's always smiling while she's up on the ring. It's almost like she's uh, welcoming you over to her territory. Duran has taken the outside line, and now Diamond's trying to cut her off. I think if Duran can get Diamond going in the other direction, he may make it to that platform. The time fast running out. Duran also oh close, but she does hang on. She makes it to the final section of rings, and that's worth seven points. Look how close to that platform she was. The Duran goes the distance and hangs tough and picks up seven points in the process. Just been preparing for her shot at hang tough. She too is going to go against Diamond. Kristen coming from a very athletic background. Her father a professional football player. For the Baltimore Colts at one time. I don't think Dad ever had to do anything like this before. <laughs> right? How do you, as you alluded to before, how do you prepare for this event? I mean, there's not, uh, you just have to come here and do it. I'm in wasting no time since Kristen invades her territory. She's got her legs wrapped around her. Can she pull her hands off yet? And down she goes. Combination of diamond strength and the forces of gravity, just too much for Christian. So Duran has a 15-2 lead after two events. 
still to come on the American Gladiators, Breakthrough and Conquer, Atmosphere, but up next, it's time to scale the wall. Welcome back to Universal Studios Hollywood, and we are ready now for our next event, The Wall. After two events, James leads Philip as they await the start. Here, both contenders compete simultaneously in an effort to scale this 32-foot summit. But keep in mind, they have gladiators following in pursuit. First contender up, well, he gets 10 points. And if the second contender's lucky enough to make it, he'll have to settle for five. Speed, baby. Phillip's going to be followed up the wall by Gemini, while James Kiernan is going to have Thunder after him. Larry, this is a good draw for our contenders because by their own admission, Thunder and Gemini do not excel in this event. They're just too big. Yeah, Mike, but they hit the wall so hard 10 seconds after the contenders start up, sometimes they shake them off with the impact. You're right about that. Bill Maska here in the red, working his way up. James Kiernan in the blue with a slight lead. Under closing in or in? Bill hanging on by just one arm right now. Now he's got both of his hands on those grips. Oh, and you can see the kind of effort it takes and the kind of strength it takes. The contender's kind of stalled at the three-quarter mark. Now James has a hand up, hoist himself up on the top of the wall, and he's going to take the 10 points. Philip, on the other hand, has a little trouble. Got a death grip. Now he cuts loose from the wall and takes Gemini with him. And James Kiernan's sister joins in the celebration. Mike? Sometimes on the American Gladiators, the contenders surprise even themselves, and that's exactly what happened to you again, James. Hey, Mike, never made it once in practice. I don't know. I guess some thunder guns chasing after me. It's like my life depended on coming up here. I'm so happy to make it. It's a victory just to make it up here every time. Half of this climb is done with your back about at a 45 degree angle to the ground, so you're working against gravity, too. Oh, Mike, you're working against gravity, and you're working just on finger strength, Mike. It's a lot tougher than a lot of people think. James, once again, job well done. You get 10 points. James with a strong finger is in the time of 46 seconds, winning the wall event and increasing his lead over Phillips. Land also leads Kristen after two events as they await at the foot of the wall. And Duran, always smiling, 27 years old. She'll be challenged by Ice, while Kristen Jarkow will be chased up the wall by Lace. And the big advantage, as we Ready. have mentioned many times in this event for the contenders, they get a 10-second head start. Boy, Larry, look how much ground Duran has covered already. She's three-quarters of the way up the wall. Nice is going to hang in there. She's not giving up. She's going to try to close in on Duran. Kristen now a little surge of speed. Duran hanging up a little bit. Ice has a hold of Duran's foot and slipped off. Now Lace grabs a hold of Kristen's foot and pulls her off. Duran has a clear shot now, has a grip on the top of the wall, hoists herself up. And this gal is going to take 10 points at the top of the wall. Mike? Duran, nothing to it but to do it, huh? Let's do it. Take us through your climb and tell us what happened and what kind of feelings you felt. I knew that she couldn't get too much of a grip on these sneakers that I have because they're quite, quite smooth, so I just had to keep climbing, keep pulling. So that's all I had to do. Climb and pull, climb and pull you did to the tune of 40 seconds and 10 points. Once again, congratulations. Win on the wall helps her to increase her lead over Tristan after three events. In our men's quarterfinal, James leads Phillip as the competition now moves on to break through and conquer. A two part event where a contender can earn five points for a win in breakthrough and another five for a win in conquer. Laser and Nitro hit the turf for the Gladiators with Nitro taking breakthrough and Laser will be doing battle in the conquer ring. James Kiernan up first. Ready? James, 6'1", 195, trying to match Nitro for power. Nitro knocks him out of bounds. No points there. But here's where James really excelled. He was an outstanding wrestler. Ready? 
Laser trying to stay nice and compact and keep James off his body. But Kieran gets his arms wrapped around Laser's chest, and out he goes. So James picks up five points. Surprised to see James muscle Laser right out of the ring. Now Phillips steps up to the line. You can see the intensity on his face. Am I going to try to overpower him? Am I going to try to put a move on him? Which tactic will work? Out of bounds. Still beat himself there. Well, they put a move on Nitro but carried himself nearly out of bounds. All Nitro had to do is put a little push on him. You can see the intensity on Laser's face. Laser doing an outstanding job of keeping Phillips' hands off his body. The same cannot be said for Laser's singlet. That goes flying. But Laser staying inside the ring. Phil gets shut out. Nice job by Laser and Nitro. Phil doing a good job pursuing Laser. At one point, gets a hand on his jersey here. He thinks he has him out. But look at the move by Laser. He just spins off and stays in the ring. Five points he picks up and breaks through and conquer. James takes a larger lead after four events. More to come on the American Gladiators, including our game of Atmosphere and Assault. But up next, women's breakthrough and conquer. We are back, Universal Studios Hollywood, where Duran Cumberbatch leads Kristen Jarkow in this quarterfinal contest as the women prepare to take on Ice and Blaze in Breakthrough and Conquer. Kristen's up first, and earlier she told us why she thinks she might do well in the Conquer event. When I was growing up, one of the crazy things that we did in our house was that in the living room we didn't have any furniture. The only thing we had in there was a gymnastics mat. It was a huge mat, and so we could practice our gymnastics. And then the other thing was that my sisters both sort of dated wrestlers, and so the wrestlers would come over, and they always wanted to teach me moves and wrestle around with me. And, and so I have a lot of wrestling experience just from doing that with them. Larry, that's not crazy. Everybody grew up that way, didn't they? <laughs> well, Kristen will have to take on Blaze in the breakthrough portion of this event. Here she comes. Whoa! Oh. I don't know if that was legal. And had award the points by points. Referee Larry Thompson said that Blaze definitely hit too high, so Kristen is given five points for making it in breakthrough. Kristen going for the single leg takedown against Ice. Ice having no part of that as she successfully defends her territory. No points for Kristen Jarkow in the conference. Gives Ice a little hug, but Kristen won't soon forget this. As Blaze goes up top and wraps her a good one in the noggin. Obviously against the rules, and that's why referee Larry Thompson awards Kristen the five points. Well, I'm sure Duran Cumberbatch will keep Blaze's illegal tackle in mind as she is set to go in breakthrough. Duran might be a good idea to duck. Duran might try to put a move on Blaze and avoid her altogether. She runs right down the middle, giving her an option of moving left or right. She moves left, and Blaze brings her down. Duran's knee hit the ground before she crossed the goal line, so no points there in breakthrough. Blaze again going too high. She's going to have to get out of that habit, or she's going to lose a lot of points by penalty. Power against Finesse here in the conquer ring. And look at Duran. She gets a hold of Ice's leg. That quickness really paid off. A stunning upset. Woo! Duran had a strategy in mind from the moment she stepped inside that ring. And that, that was, I'm going for Ice's knee. She's giving it to me. I'm going to try to get her weight up high, put a shoulder into it, a little strong back action and drive her helplessly right out of the ring. Her hand, great plan, great execution. I take everything in stride. I think that if I see that I've given everything that I can give, then I'm not hard on myself. If I knew that I didn't think when I went to that or I didn't try as hard, my mind or my body wasn't into it, then I am hard on myself. Duran was definitely into it in the conquer ring. Both women take away five points from this event. And after four, Duran maintains her lead over Kristen. In the men's competition, James holds a comfortable lead over Philip Nasca as the men load in for our game of Atlasphere. In Atlasphere, both contenders compete simultaneously in an effort to roll their spears into one of four red, white, 
and blue scoring cards worth three points each. Of course, in the meantime, gladiators are in spheres of their own, and they're doing everything to keep the contenders from scoring. And maybe a bad draw for the contenders this time around. Guess who's getting inside one of the spheres for the Gladiators' Thunder? That's one man that Philip Nasca will have to worry about. And also our Mr. Rage in the Cage, Gemini. These guys mean business when they get locked inside those things. A rage in the Cage and Rolling Thunder to contend with. Ready, red. Ready, blue. Larry Thompson, our referee, getting the action underway, and he'll waste no time getting clear of the field in this particular event. He was nearly mangled once. <laughs> he learned his lesson. James Kiernan in the blue cage, Phil Nasca in the red. James with a little move. Can he make it settle? He's got the point. And he's got the strength to do that. He weighs 195 pounds, good upper and lower body strength. Not even Gemini could knock him out. But Thunder is giving Phil Nasca all kinds of problems. Until there. Nice job, Phil. A little pick action there. Phil's going to come out the winner on the deal. He's got a breakaway with Gemini right on his back. Can he settle it? That's Phil there, scoring again. Actually doing pretty well against Thunder and Gemini. I'm surprised. And Phil Nasca really racking up the points. He trailed by 20 coming into this event. He wins at 9-3, so he's right back in the thick of the action. Scoring three unanswered goals right at the end of the event. Mike? Well, Philip, I don't know if there's such a thing as a specialist as far as the contenders go on American Gladiators, but you're the closest thing we have to that. This is your baby, the atmosphere. You shine. I don't know. It's kind of reminds me when we were kids in the bumping cars, and uh, you can run around in this thing, and uh, it's just fun bumping around in here. Nice going. You win this, 9-3. Thank you. Philip wins his first event of this round and closes in on the lead of James after five events. Meantime, Kristen will now try to do the same against Duran as the women prepare for atmosphere. And Larry, maybe the hardest part of this event, just getting inside the cage. It's not much fun to look forward to. 60 seconds of really giving your body a workout. Duran, a resident of New York City, she's probably been in rougher taxi cab rides. So she's ready, and so is Gold, as she gets locked in. Ready, red. Ready, blue. Our contenders ready, ready. and our gladiators are set to go. And this round of atmosphere is underway. And so is Duran Cumberbatch. Nobody's attacking her, so she has a free run for that first scoring pod. A little mix up on the part of the gladiators on who was going to take whom. As a result, Duran comes away with a score, and now Kristen settles in, returning the favor. Ran on the edge of the score, being held out of the pod by Gold. Gold just muscled her out, now has her pinned against one of the barriers. Kristen is stuck in that scoring pod, and now Gold inadvertently helps her out. As a result, Kristen gets another score from the pick action she managed to squirt out of. Ran with another evasive maneuver, having Gold roll by as she manages to settle into the scoring pot, and Duran picks up another score. But Kristen matches her right at the end. And as a result, Kristen scoring the final goal to take a 9-6 victory in this event. Mike? Ladies and gentlemen, meet the latest in handy-dandy workout uh, appliances the atmosphere and too bad you can't get this thing down in your basement this would be a great way to work out huh yeah it sure would it's a it's a lot of fun to be inside of one of these things i, I think everyone should try it for at least 30 seconds a couple of times you helped duran get a goal and she helped you get a goal yeah and then one time i think a gladiator even helped me get a goal i think she knocked me into this very last one over here and that was great with me congratulations you won this event nine six Atmosphere in the basement, wrestling match in the living room. Kristen wins the women's atmosphere, and as a result, chips away at Durant's lead after five events. Still to come on American Gladiators, 
the Eliminator. But up next, Assault. Welcome back to Universal Studios Hollywood, and for our contenders, it's time to hit or be hit. Our game of Assault. Here, a contender has 60 seconds to hit a target using five weapons. A crossbow, a rocket launcher, a cannon, a pistol, and finally, our version of three hand grenades. A contender may also earn four points for completing the course without getting hit. Coming into this event, James Kieran holding a pretty healthy lead over Philip Nasca as the men prepare to take aim at Turbo. First up's going to be Philip Nasca. And the 38-year-old from Hawaii did manage to pick up some ground in atmosphere. Now he has a chance to really cut into the lead here in Assault. Taking extra time. Way high with a crossbow. Turbo very patient at the cannon. He just waits for a target. Doesn't fire a barrage like some of the other gladiators. Still trying to figure out how to use the rocket launcher. Now sets himself fire at the bow. Right. He hit the right portion of Bullseye. And Turbo goes up in smoke. Ten points for Phil Nasca. Wow. Congratulations. I, through all the competitions, that's the first bullseye I've seen. Ten points dead on the button. Well, it was the grace of God, and he just told me to take my time and aim it, and I did. And this time, uh, I hit him before he hit me, and I'm just happy to get some points. Congratulations. You know you needed the points, and this is going to help a lot in the overall race. Thank you. Good job. Good luck the rest of the day. Well, I'll tell you one thing. James Kiernan will be hard-pressed to match that shot. Like you said, Larry, we have not seen many bullseyes on American Gladiators competition. James standing tall with the crossbow, ducks once, fires that one wide and off to the left. James are bullying his way through, not too intimidated by Turbo at the cannon. Taking his time, getting down low, little to the right. <laughs> Trips over the hook. Now he's at the mercy of Turbo. Turbo can't take advantage of it. Boy, for about two seconds, James is a sitting duck. Trying to pull the trigger. Yes, he's got it. Doc, I think you're more excited than our firefighter is. James, congratulations. You hit the bullseye. Ten points. Let me tell you, in the NFL back in the old days, we had guys we called pressure players. They put in when we really had to have it. You knew you had to have it because of what Phil did and came in and did it. Turbo was really mad at me because uh, he couldn't get me off the ring, so I know he wanted to give me one of those blasts with those tennis balls. So I tripped on there, had his chance, he missed it, and I got to the cannon and I took him out. Tell you what, some of that experience as a firefighter, being uh, ready to make the quick decision, dodging, jumping, it came in handy, didn't it? Oh, that's absolutely it. I just got to stay away from that turbo blast. You're doing a great job in the competition. Congratulations on a great job with a bullseye. Thank you very much. Turbo, I guess after all the punishment you've been dealing out to the contenders, it was only fair that they got you a couple of times. They got you good, two bullseyes. Yeah, they got me good. It hasn't happened too often to me, but I have to take my hats off. These guys were moving quick. I I missed them by that much, both of them a couple times, but I wasn't good enough to hit them today, and they got me. But uh, I, I have a feeling both of them, they'll be back, and uh, they'll get their fair share. Well, the good thing, Turbo, at least your little turbines over there haven't given up on you. They still love you. Yeah, they still love me. They're good guys. Thanks, you guys. First here on American Gladiators as both contenders connect for bullseye. As a result, James holds his lead over Phillips now after six events. In our women's contest, Duran leads Kristen as the women take aim at assault, where they're going to be firing at Diamond. And the studious athletic one Ready? from New York City is set to go. Duran having to get up on her tiptoes to shoot over the safe zone there. 
Better that than to be hit. She's quick. And always keeps an eye on the gladiator. Whoa, that one just missed. Ran with all that athletic ability, but still very calculating in each of her moves. She knows her hands exposed when she's out there. A little high, a little to the right. Now point blank range and get hit. The amazing thing about that, Larry, this is the first time that Duran has failed to score in any event. So now a golden opportunity for Kristen Jarkow to maybe get back into the competition here. Maybe move a little bit closer and set herself up for Ready? the final event, the Eliminator. Seen a variety of techniques used in the crossbow. This may be the best one. Kneel down, aim high, that one a little too high. Probably the safest technique. Kristen, like Duran, doing a good job of keeping her eye on the gladiator. Able to pick up the flight of the tennis balls coming in their direction. Now if the direction of her own shots were just a little bit better. She's not going to get another chance, however, as Diamond picks her off and in the process goes two for two in his saw. Diamond keeps the lady scoreless. Minutes off. So after six minutes, Duran will lead Kristen by 20 points. Who will advance to the semifinals? The answer coming up next with the Eliminator. We are back, Universal Studios Hollywood, the final event, the Eliminator. And coming in, Duran holds a 20-point lead over Kristen. The event, our obstacle course of sorts, begins right here. The competitors run side by side up and against the treadmill. Then it's across a 30-foot pit using this hand bike. It's a tough anaerobic upper body workout. The contenders must then make their way over a balance beam only six inches wide and in the process dodge those blocking dummies. Then Mike, it's a difficult climb up a 20-foot cargo net. Then the fun part, a long zip line ride over the entire length of the arena floor. And once there, it's decision time, which lane to pick. Contender is first confronted by two hurdles and then possibly a waiting gladiator behind the door. And the 20 points that Kristen trails by means that she has to beat Duran by 10 seconds to move on to the semifinals. The women have 75 seconds to finish the course with each second worth two points. Duran in the red, Kristen Jarkow in the blue, and they are off on their way. Up the treadmill they go. Duran struggling a bit with that hand bike. Kristen makes it across. Duran goes down. That's worth penalty seconds. Kristen having her problems on the balance beam and loses that valuable lead she had over Duran. Now they're neck and neck on the cargo net, but that won't do Kristen any good. She's got to get out in front. Duran the first up. Nice one-point landings by both women. Over the hurdles they go. Duran having to make up for those penalty points. Kristen's across first. Duran crosses second. Unfortunately, Kristen didn't win by enough. Kristen, you saved your best for last in the Eliminator Final. Unfortunately, you had such a deficit to overcome, uh, you fell a little bit short. But uh, I know you've had a great time on the show, and uh, you gave it your best effort. Well, I did a lot better this time. Last time, it was a continual mental struggle, and this time, I just came in with a more positive attitude, wanted to just have more fun with it, and I definitely have, so the glad to be here. Okay, a lot of people were proud of you and proud of your effort, Kristen, including your whole family, who were sitting up there watching you in the Eliminator Final. Congratulations and thanks for being with thanks. us. Thanks, I've enjoyed it. Duran, you were tough, and uh, you are a woman of very few words. You prefer to let your actions speak for themselves, but how about it? After seven events, I think it's time to let that million-dollar smile let loose. How do you feel right now? I feel great. Well, I know you have a master's degree in special education. You now have another master's degree in American Gladiatorology. Congratulations. You're going on to the semifinals. Those are 
contenders deserving high grades, but Duran moves on. Over in our men's quarterfinals, James leads Phillip by 14 points, so Phillip will have to overcome a seven-second deficit in order to advance. And our gladiators are set to offer resistance. The men have 60 seconds in which to complete the eliminator. Again, every second left on the clock is worth two points. Phillip in red, James in blue. Treadmill they go. Philip having a little trouble getting that hand bike started. Manages to open a slight lead over James. Freezing across the balance beam now up the cargo net. Phillips going to have to make a move. Remember, he has to win by seven seconds, and here he trails. <laughs> Only a gladiator can stop James Kiernan now, but he lucks out. Nobody there behind that door. Phillips, the misfortune of finding Gemini behind his particular door, and James Kiernan moves on. You've come on strong, made it here to the quarterfinals. Really put on quite an exhibition today. Got off to a slow start, but came on strong at the end and almost pulled it off. Yeah, I got jammed up on that bike. Couldn't get my rhythm. But uh, after I got past that, it was all downhill. But James is a tough athlete, man. I give him credit. <laughs> Thank you a lot. Man, you were you were everywhere today. You know, you never took anything completely except for maybe the assault where you scored big, but you're, in every category, you put a few points together. Yeah, Larry, I just tried my hardest in each of the events. I just thank God I did as well as I did. Well, you got bragging rights. Congratulations, and welcome to our semifinals. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a round of applause for our contenders? So our firefighter, James Kiernan from Phoenix, blazes on to the semis. That's it for this edition of the American Gladiators. For Larry Zonka, I'm Mike Adamley saying so long from Universal Studios Hollywood. Hi, this is Lisa calling from Los Angeles. Just wanted to say Miami Vice rules and the new TNN is awesome for putting it on the air. So stay tuned for Miami Vice. It's up next on the new TNN. <laughs>